So you have this European style frameless cabinets that you want to refinish. There is a really, really good way of masking them off so you can spray them. And today I'm going to show you exactly how to do that step by step. So the very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to clean the uh, surface. Sometimes we have some oil and grease on the cabinets and we want to get rid of it just so our tape sticks really well. To clean inside of the cabinets, I just use a little bit of acetone and a paper towel or shop towel and I lightly rub it on to get rid of all kinds of dirt and grease and anything that I can have here that wouldn't let my tape stick. Make sure you guys don't damage the finish, whatever it is. This is pre-finished plywood. If it's white melamine, acetone would work just fine. Nothing's gonna happen to the melamine. But when it's not chemical resistant, your surface, don't use acetone. In this case, I can definitely do it. And uh, now my surface is clean. So here's what I usually do. I take my tape, I pull a lot, just so I work with like loose tape and keep my edge straight. Here's what I do. I start off by leaving a 16th of an inch off the surface of my gable. I don't want to have any missing spots afterwards when we pull the tape. And I keep this line just a tiny, tiny bit off the uh, wall of the cabinet if you want to be exposed so we can paint it. And I keep it all around and I need this as my base, as my protection. I need this clean line. So I do it all around. It's way easier to work with loose tape. Otherwise, if you work with a little bit of tape and you kind of like pull on it, you know, it kind of bends and now you don't have that straight edge. So always keep your tape loose. That's gonna give you that nice and straight edge, straight line. And I just lightly dab it every five inches or so. Press really, really hard in the corner. Sometimes I use my putty knife to press into the corner. Sometimes fingers work just fine. And I keep working all around the box until I'm done, until the tape is on. All right, so now when I have this base tape on, I dabbed it every five inches or so, and then I pressed everywhere again and again now it's nice and tight everything's clean everything is tight everything is protected and now i'm going to do another layer of tape which is going to hold my plastic that's the, the second layer of tape will basically give me that you know sticky surface where i'm going to stick my plastic to it's going to be two-part process so one tape is going to go on the behind the plastic the other one is going to go on the front side so it's going to kind of like sandwich my plastic in between just so there is no way that plastic gets loose and we have some overspray we have that you know spray fan going into the cabinet this way we make sure everything is really really well protected here's how i do it i run more tape than i need not being greedy here and then this is very important i press on the tape all along the uh, wall here and then towards the bottom and the top i press into the middle and i kind of twist it just so my tape gets reversed it turns on me and it faces the outside and now we have this nice lip half of the tape stuck to the surface and half of the tape is still loose and sometimes when i'm not super happy with it when it's like not really really tight what i do is i put a tiny piece of tape and stick it to the sticky part attach it here just so it holds it back and it doesn't let my tape stick to the front side so this is good so i do the same thing on the other side now and now what i'm going to do next is i'm going to run horizontal lines so my horizontal lines will be again a little bit longer than i need them to be and i stick them inside same way so that the half of my tape sticks to the surface and the other half stays loose and this is it this is ready for plastic here's what kind of plastic we use it is flake resistant um, plastic from 3m this blue stuff 
whenever we spray any kind of material, you know, we don't have any dry film flaking off, which is pretty bad. So this stuff works really, really good and saves a ton of time. So we switched to this from regular paper and it's been working great. So here's what I do. I usually cut a little bit more than I need. And then I stick it to the top line of tape. Now, I pull it down. And here's the reason why I got a little bit wider piece of tape than I needed. I just stick it to my tape all around. Even though it's wider and we know this, that's okay. That is actually going to save us a lot of time. Here's what I do next. With my very sharp knife, I score a tiny, tiny, tiny line all around to get rid of that loose plastic, that extra, that excess, and uh, a little bit of tape as well. Don't worry, you're not gonna cut through the tape. The tape, like this blade, is super, super sharp and tiny, so your cut line is not going to make you know that much of a difference. Uh, sometimes you don't even cut through the tape. So your tape stays, you know, absolutely fine. But the other thing is, we'll go over with another layer of tape, which is going to cover that line. So super efficient method. All right, so I got my plastic on right now. It's fine, it's tight, no holes, everything is sealed, but this is not it. Quickly put another layer of tape. Here's how I do it. Now I make sure that my tape is not longer than the length of this gable. And I put my tape just off the edge. I just need that edge of the plastic to be, you know, tight to the gable. So this is it. Super tight, super, you know, duper tight. I really like it. All right, this is it. This is how we do it on all of the boxes. And this way, it's gonna stay super clean on the inside and we never have to worry about any overspray, any dust inside the cabinets. Well, now you guys know how to mask off frameless European style cabinet boxes. And if you want to learn the other steps of the process, consider subscribing to my channel. I am super happy to share everything I know. With that being said, we'll see you guys on the next videos. Take care.